This video is sponsored by Brilliant. More on that later. I'd like to share this book with you, Grokking Deep Learning by Andrew Trask. Andrew is a, an expert on deep learning and he has created a book that uh, is aimed at beginners and it is a fantastic introduction to the subject. Uh, but just because it's an introduction doesn't mean it doesn't go into much detail. I think by the time you have finished reading this book, you will have a very good grasp of uh, deep learning, what it is, and how to implement it in simple situations. And it will put you in a very good position to go on and learn more about it. Uh, let me show you a little bit about what this book contains and uh, we'll look at who Andrew Trask is and why you should choose him to teach you this subject. So let's have a look at the preface. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read it out to you because actually it's very relevant. This book requires no math background beyond basic arithmetic and it doesn't rely on a high-level library that might hide what is going on. In other words, anyone can read this book and understand how deep learning really works. So that's really important. This book doesn't require you to have a mathematical background. My goal in writing Grokking Deep Learning was to create the lowest possible barrier to entry to the practice of deep learning. This knowledge combined with all the theory, code, and examples you'd explore in this book will make you much faster at iterating through experiments. You'll have quick success and better job opportunities, and you'll even learn about more advanced deep learning concepts more rapidly. In the last three years, I not only authored this book, but also entered a PhD program at Oxford, joined the team at Google, and helped spearhead OpenMind, a decentralized artificial intelligence platform. This book is the culmination of years of thinking, learning, and teaching. Aren't I always saying that the way to learn something is to do it? And that's why I want to introduce you to today's sponsor, Brilliant. Now, Brilliant is an interactive online STEM learning platform where you can learn, you know, all the stuff that you're interested in. So computer science and data science, that's programming and algorithms and data structures and statistics and probability but you learn it interactively. And I think that's what makes Brilliant unique. I've been using Brilliant for years, long before they reached out to me to sponsor the channel. So thank you for getting in touch, Brilliant. What I really like about Brilliant is the interactive problem solving because it really ensures that you understand the subject because you've been asked questions about it and you've had to apply that knowledge to different scenarios. Brilliant has a huge catalogue of courses and it's constantly expanding. So there's bound to be something there for you. It's particularly strong in data science and computer science. So go and take a look at those. To get started, go to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or just click on the link in the description. And the first 200 people to sign up will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So you can see Andrew really is an expert. Um, he's a lovely chap as well. And um, learning from this book, you know, is probably the next best thing to uh, having him sit down and teach you these concepts face to face. And who's the book for? I've intentionally written this book with what I believe is the lowest barrier to entry possible. No knowledge of linear algebra, calculus, convex optimization, or even machine learning is assumed, and everything from those subjects that's necessary to understand deep learning will be explained as we go. If you've passed high school mathematics and hacked around in Python, you're ready for this book. Um, which is great, because it shows you just how accessible this book makes deep learning. So let's look at what this book covers. Chapter one focuses on why you should learn deep learning and what you'll need to get started. Chapter two starts to dig deep in fundamental concepts such as machine learning, parametric and non-parametric models, supervised and unsupervised learning. It also introduces the predict, compare, learn paradigm that will continue through the chapters. Chapter three walks you through using simple networks to make a prediction as well as provide your first look at a neural network. And chapter four teaches you how to evaluate the predictions made in chapter three and identify errors to help train models in the next step. Uh, chapter six, you build your first deep neural network uh, with the code as well. And all the code is done in a Jupyter notebook. So as long as you have some experience of using Jupyter notebooks, you'll be fine with that. The book goes on to cover recurrent neural networks, and it also looks at privacy and data, and it introduces topics like federated learning. And actually privacy in data is the area that Andrew is researching at Oxford. And he gave a talk at MIT 
uh, and it's on Lex Friedman's YouTube channel uh, about his research and that's definitely worth uh, taking a look at. I found that very, very interesting. And chapter three gives a good example of how the book is structured and he um, builds up a neural network in this chapter. So you see making a prediction with multiple inputs and that's broken down and performing a weighted sum of inputs. Uh, and then it builds up in complexity from multiple inputs to uh, multiple outputs. Uh, and in the meantime, we have code there for that. So we have making a prediction with multiple outputs and then we get multiple inputs and outputs. And this is built up gradually with code over the course of the chapter. There's even a little primer on NumPy, which is useful. At the end of the book, there's some very good advice where Andrew suggests as step one, you learn PyTorch. And if it's PyTorch you want, I would definitely recommend this book, well, this is the first edition. I think there's a second edition out now, but Deep Learning with Python uh, is a very good uh, introduction to PyTorch. Um, he suggests you start another deep learning course. And once you've done that, he suggests you dive into the maths. He also suggests that you start a blog and teach. And I would definitely second that. I think uh, starting a blog and um, writing regularly about these topics, uh, it has it's, well several benefits. The first is when you teach something or explain something, it helps you to understand it yourself. So uh, you're helping others by explaining it, but you're also helping yourself. It's quite good for getting you noticed as well. He recommends that you go on Twitter and Andrew has a very popular Twitter account, um, which you should follow. He also suggests that you get paid to practice. And by that, he means, you know, try to get a job where you can carry on learning this. So I think if you're interested in learning deep learning and you want to learn it from an expert that really knows their stuff, uh, and you don't come from a mathematical background, then this would be a fantastic introduction to the topic for you. Uh, and I definitely recommend the book.